Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. On today's show, we are going to start installing the Jetson race car software and void a warranty. Let's go. Void a warranty. We're pretty far into this build, but we haven't voided any warranties. So let's fix that. I have here a SanDisk SSD Plus solid state drive. It has 120 GBs on it and up to 530 megabytes per second. Let's open it up. I have my engineer scissors. Sisal right here. This is a relatively inexpensive SSD. It comes in this nice little case. There's a couple of things we can do with it. We could just install it on the car and put some SATA cables on it. But I think it'd be easier just to plug it straight into the SATA port. Remove before installing. Okay. Okay, how do we get this baby open? Warranty void if removed. I don't see any screws. It must be press fit together. Let's try this. There's a little pop. It would be nice to have the proper tool to do this, but I do not have it. Okay, there it goes. So we have this. Well, they said the warranty was void if the sticker was removed. <laughs> There's our little circuit card. There's the discs. Let's put it in the race car. Move the race car over here. Let's take the top platform off. We're avoiding the warranty. We're avoiding the warranty. We're avoiding the warranty. We're avoiding the warranty. Okay, let's slide our little SSD in there. And that's too tall to clear the platform. So taking a look at this, the card sticks up about a quarter of an inch higher than the standoffs. So adding another quarter inch to the standoffs won't clear it. I think a better plan might be to mount it underneath the platform on this side over here and run some cables to it. I still think that I need more clearance over this heat sink to be able to run the cables. So let's try that out. So I'm going to swap these off for two inch standoffs while it's open and try that. And I feel bad about voiding the warranty at this point, but hey, that's life. Let's snap the sand disk back together.
I should return this thing. It seems like someone opened it up or something. We use some double click tape. That sounds like a good idea. It's always a good idea. How am I going to run these wires, man? Let's see. Here's a cable. We'll need a couple pieces of sticky tape. Okay, now we're ready to put this on. And now we will attach it. Okay, so that's on. Let's wire this baby up. Now let's do it like this. Okay, now we'll plug it into the SATA drive. And that's good as done. Got a cable mess, that's okay. And we'll put the platform back on. Putting it back together, putting it back together. And a little bit more cable management and we're good to go.